Taylor Veltrop here with my newest Kinect hack. This time it's a treadmill controlled by the Microsoft Kinect. And the difference between this treadmill and a regular one is that I control the speed of the treadmill by how fast I'm walking on it instead of me trying to match the treadmill speed. So it's connected to the computer with a serial port cable and the Kinect and the computer are in the other room and I'm already calibrated to the Kinect and ready to go. I'll tell you more about how I accomplish this hack at the end of the video. So just standing on it, it's not trying to move, but if I go forward a little bit, it goes forward. I'm just trying to walk kind of slowly right now. But then if I try to speed up a little, the treadmill will do that. And then I slow down and stop. And I can go backwards too. So, why would I do this? Well, the purpose is for teleoperating the robot. As you saw in some of my previous videos, uh, teleoperating the robot in a room was limited by the size and configuration of the room. But with this setup, I shouldn't have to worry about that limitation anymore. So, next, I'll show you that. Okay, so my now is ready, and he's hooked up into the system, so it's time to control him with the treadmill interface. Getting up. First I stand up, and so it is he. And if I start to walk forward, now it does the same. I go slowly, he'll go slowly. If I start to speed up, he takes larger steps. He goes backwards too, of course. And if I'm just standing here, obviously with this treadmill, one problem is turning him. If I had an omnidirectional treadmill, that would be a lot more functional. But as it is now, if I turn my torso slightly, he'll start to rotate. He'll stop, and I can turn him the other direction, of course. Sometimes I have to reset my treadmill. <laughs> there we go. And it's a little funny, but while I'm walking forward, I can twist my body to the side and he'll walk forward and turn at the same time. So, let's see, I'll, um walk him to the camera for the last bit here. Now the last problem I have is that I have to keep looking over my shoulder to see where now is and obviously a teleoperation isn't very useful if I have to be in the same area as him. So, my next video is going to have a fix for that. And my next video will feature some HMV goggles so I can see through Nao's eyes and manipulate his head with my own head. And at that point, with my Wii remotes integrated at the same time, I should have full control over him. So, stay tuned for those videos. And then in the end, I can sit now back down. Sitting down.
So now I'll show you how I did the hack. So now I'll show you how I accomplished the treadmill hack. So originally when I got it, it had a large frame coming up. And on the top of that frame was a control panel. So I followed the control panel down into this compartment. And the wire from that control panel came here. So I just hooked that up to my oscilloscope and told the control panel to run at various speeds for the treadmill. And then, lo and behold, on the oscilloscope, as you see on your screen, it was just ordinary PWM data. So, I took this wire and attached it to the PIO output of a uh, Kondo KCB controller, which I had been using on the Veltrobot a while back. And using the digital output on here, I can generate a PWM signal. But another problem was that the treadmill only wanted to go forward. So to be able to go two directions, I took another output, uh, which goes through a transistor in here and operates this uh, double pull, double throw relay switch attached to the motor. So whenever I need to change directions, it just flips the switch. And then finally, here's some switches and stuff for resetting the microcontroller, entering a programming mode. And here's the serial port plugged in to control the actual treadmill speed. And it just accepts a PWM value. And the computer is calculating what speed to make the treadmill go and outputs the proper PWM value over this cable, which is connected to an ordinary USB serial adapter into the computer. And then the final detail was that this treadmill used to be on an incline and it really didn't like reversing directions when it was on an incline. So I just built some new legs down here to set it up level. There is still one mystery when the motor flips direction and puts some feedback into the circuit. If there is a too much torque or something, sometimes the whole system just bails out and goes into some kind of safety protection mode and I have to flip the switch and reset it. But for a $100 treadmill off of Amazon, not too bad.